my greetings. I greet you. I mean, I have a decent hand. I don't have double Drake like last time, but I can coin Drake and play a Watcher on turn four and still tap. So I can still use all my mana. Developing Watcher helps just to have a Watcher. That way, it's like it's much easier to Sun Fury and stuff later on. I need to play a Drake this turn. Like Dark Bomb looks okay, but I have to use use a lot of cards before Drake gets smaller. This is my last turn before turn six for Druid. Turn six, you can play Keeper and Hero Power Wrath. That's really important to dodge. Um. Oh, that's a lot of good stuff. Now I'm gonna use all my mana this turn somehow. Like I could Owl Dark Bomb. There's like a lot of stuff I can do, but I kind of want to cash in on this guy before turn six Silence. Owl Trade and play. Ancient Watcher. So then I might as well. Wait, wait, okay, okay, that makes sense. Goose Narg, thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Crowfist. Yeah, so this turn he can keep her hero power. So I, I want to cash in on the life. Uh, the reason why I didn't just tap here and just play Owl is because I need to use all my mana next turn because I want to play second Watcher and Sun Fury. So if I just like tapped, I can't play both Watcher Sun Fury next turn. That's gonna be my plan right now: double Watcher Sun Fury next turn, and then just have a really solid board with two ton of Watchers. Try to make them fight through the Watchers, basically. Like it's really important for me right now not to fight his minions with my non-taunters. I need to get value from these watchers. So I need to force him to like trade into these watchers and not do something like trade in my Sun Fury into his minions, for example. Like that's would be really bad if I had to do that. Because watchers don't attack. So the only way I can get value from the watchers is by um forcing them to trade into it. Where shall I That's Definitely not close to the worst that could happen. Like, he didn't play Ancient Lore or Dr. Boom, both would have been like significantly scarier. No Even though I said that I don't want to attack, if I don't draw anything, I might have to just Dark Bomb Moral Coil, because I, I just don't have anything to do. Oh my god, it's so good for me. I just cashed in on that Watcher. That was juicy. He was scared of like Shadow Flame or something, but I don't know. I don't. I think it's a mistake. Like he's not that weak to Shadow Flame, and I have to use the Shadow Flame. I wonder if it's worth a Dark Bomb to keep a two-two alive. It's pretty close. I think I would though. I think I do want to do that. Two two charger. I mean, I don't think MC Tech is popular right now. I have gotten MC Tech, but it's rare. Drax is pretty much dead card against Druid. I feel like it's almost useless. The only way you feel good about playing Drax is if you already have board control with Taunts, and then you play Drax and grind anyone out. But like, you pretty much win anyways if you have board control and Taunts. Alright, let me count. It's 14 uh, plus 5, 19 damage with combo. I'm gonna tap here. Play this, I guess. If I didn't tap anything, I'd probably Sun Fury, my, my uh, Dark Boom. He doesn't have BJH, right? So it's not so weak for me next turn just play Mountain Giant for 7 plus Sun Fury. I don't really need to get the Molten Giants going better than dying. I don't have a read that he doesn't have combo. In fact, I kind of read that he probably does have combo. He's like missing out on some creature drops. Turn 7 didn't play lower Dr. Boom, just played the Drill Call. Okay, I think he has Keeper. Like, probably Keeper, maybe combo. Those are like some combo cards. 
Can I kill him? I'm actually close. If I had more Mortal Coil, I could kill him. Just Draxus, Mortal Coil, double Mortal Coil attack. Another possible is like just stuck with Innervates and Wall Growth. I did have combo. I should not be dead here, no way. Yeah, no. Not even close. Yeah, that's <laughs> weird for him. Okay. I should be okay now. I can play Molten plus Argus, that's for 7 mana. I might as well tap before doing that. Oh, I messed up. But now I'm not sure. I should have probably played BGH, Argus, uh, Molten. I mean, it's okay, I should still win with this. Oops. Or play Belcher. Problem is Belcher trades worse. Actually, it's fine. It's not about trading efficiently right now. Because if he trades efficiently, I, I just kill him, so that doesn't matter right now in this scenario. And if I just Argus this, if I get BJH, I'll probably just lose. It still sucks for me to get BJH because you can trade BJH, but it's not as bad still. So. It was a really big mistake for you not to play the, eh, I'm not sure. I mean, I could still win actually, no matter what. Because Draxus plus life tap and he doesn't have burst because he already comboed. Well, he's dead. Against Druid, I think Watcher is good, especially because I can like coin out Drake and Watcher. Uh, also, strong opinion is Watcher Owl. So yeah, I'm gonna keep Watcher and Drake with the coin. The, like those are twos and fours are really good with the coin. My default will be to tap turn two and coin Drake, then play Watcher plus tap. Okay, so this changes everything. I miss this wall of growth as well, it's perfect for me. I think my Drake might still be pretty beef. Like if I tap next turn, I think it'll be 4-6, I'm not sure. So draw one card, I'll have 4-5, tap 4-6. It's be 4-7 actually. Oh, he's saying for swipe if he's doing that. 100% sure. The question here is like, do I want to Mortal Coil my own Owl? Um, because if he's gonna slip anyways. But the problem is, yeah, so then he might play a Shredder, like he might he decide not to. And yeah, the whole point is like whether I even need, like, because I might want to cycle here. I think I'm okay, I just... My greetings. It's not that important. Four seven, still pretty beef. I think I'd be more tempted to cycle if I really need to, but I have a 4, 5, 7, so like, I have like drops. Oh yeah, this is a question. The question is the Belchers. Do I actually play my Belcher, Mortal Coil, and tap? So he probably has Ancient of War, I mean Lore. Uh... Or he has Dr. Boom. Um, should be okay. Basically, this can contest the slime. And if he plays Ancient Lore, I can, I can set it to Mortal Coil the Ancient Lore as well. But if he plays Dr. Boom, it'd be harder. Well, he might not play anything, like just like Drew Claw or something. Usually, though, when like Innervate Wall Growth, that's probably a 7 drop.
In a way, it makes more sense to play Belcher than um, than the Twilight Drake. Because he hasn't used any keepers yet. I want to keep initiative going to my boom turn. I can keep initiative. He'll have a lot of cards, so very likely getting BJH now. It doesn't actually make sense to trade either. Engaging TC mental oh my god. I need Shadowflame, I think. No, actually, BJH. Ten, fourteen. He has twenty-eight damage combo. It's really nice that I got the seven four though, because I can like Twilight Drake, Watcher, um, Sun Fury, and both four attacks will trade with Doctor Boom. It seems like that's gonna be my play. Up. He still has keepers, but if he signs this, hopefully like it's hidden behind the Watcher as well, like four one hidden behind the Watcher. He can get through though, but he'll have to trade Doctor Boom. Okay, well, I got the Shadow Flame. I can face the Shadow Flame. Shouldn't be anything better than that. I am close. I'm actually not sure if he has combo. Like, he has never played Shredder, he's played Zombie Chime, C Tech, Scenarius. Like, it might be Ramp Druid, running Ancient uh, ancient Wars or something. I'm not sure. Cycled a lot, though. Okay, so that's probably not normal Druid. I say keep pressure going. Drax is like three damage burst. Yeah, if I can get into like just a couple hits, it's gonna be a weird game for me though now because like my hand size is small. I'm not sure what threats I have left other than Molten Giant, Mountain Giant. The problem is he hasn't used BJH yet, so. I think I need tap for BJH. I can BJH Shaffer or BJH Healbot. So I could Healbot BJH. Nature will rise against you. I think I actually miscalculated. It's actually thirty. Uh, Wait, what? Man, I didn't didn't miscalculate. The reason why is I'm not scared going to one is because I have Draxus and Molten Giant, so I'm okay with taking a lot of damage. Okay, I'm a Tap Emperor. Huh. Interesting. If I Hellfire, I'm sure I can play Molten Giant, but. 5-5 five, five here is way better than 8-8 eight, eight, because there's no, been no BJH played and right now it's very tight this game like it's very easy for me to lose due to a tempo play like BJH I can definitely die here but hopefully I don't I don't die to one savage drawer My greetings. okay I probably should have um, Child Flat turn. 
Because if you got me a three, I can play Molten and uh, Draxus or something. I need to draw Molten here because I'm going to play it out my hand early. Uh, Ancient Watcher, Moral Call. So I actually need to hit some like my three or four drops as backup and s instead of just holding the Molten Giant. Hey, they're not going back. Weird. I'm definitely saving my Moracle for turn 3 without not like turn 2 Moracle. That's so inefficient on mana. Okay, that's so good for me. I can check with this too. So if it's like the hybrid kind and it's using um, Leopard No Mad Science and Freezing Traps, you get crushed here because you just freeze the L back and uh, they have a 4 3 left. It's, it's so bad from this position. Oh. Hey BAE, what's good against Bit Patron Warrior Controller? <laughs> Explosive. I need to play around explosive. More so than snake. <laughs> okay, what's good against both Preach from War Control War? I think like maybe mid range hunter hybrid hunter is both is good against both warriors. Also some like control mage, like grinder mages should be good against both warriors. Also, I miss like Dragon Deck, Dragon Pally. I don't know if it's a thing, but like mid range probably is not so good against Patron War, but they were playing just like mid range minions. So, yeah, the issue with those decks is mostly other stuff. Like being good against both Warriors is not actually that hard, so. Like it's really hard to be good against Zoo and Hunter. It's like one really hard thing. Okay, face. Hmm. Oh, I have mana left. Wait, oh man. Now that feels kind of weird. I feel like I'm going to win the race like this, because at least you have 9 power um, with 2 dark bombs. So I didn't feel like I need to heal myself in case of like an explosive trap or something. But now I got Bay to tap. Uh, because I have the Molten Giant as well. Mm -hmm. 9 plus 9 is 18 plus 2. So like, I would win like 2 turns pretty much. Yeah, so I get one swing, second swing kills him with the double dark bombs. Huh. For some reason I thought I had four mana. Mm -hmm. And also, another thing is, I feel like this might not be face hunter, it might be um, mid-range, like hybrid, because he's using freezing trap. Most, like this is the exact hybrid list of people I've been playing, and they have things like Savannah Jaime and stuff. You, you need to be a little bit greedier. Savannah Jaime, Lothab, and Shredder. If you just keep healing yourself, you might not be that good. Is this better or this better? With Lo with Emperor, I have lethal as well. He can kill my 3 3, and I'll still win with Mountain Giant, though. Mm, Lothab is a thing. Like, I might have lethal this way around Lothab. 5, 9, 12. I definitely wouldn't have lethal uh, with Emperor against Lothab. Yeah, this way I still win, even if he kills my 3 3. Get in there and fight, oh, it's gonna kill my 4, four 5, maybe. <laughs> or go face. Oh, I, I still win, actually. Hemlock just seems so strong right now. Your soul shall be mine. It's kind of weird. I'm. I guess I'm just gonna do this anyways. Try to get a Drake. Like I, if I don't draw something. Okay, this is something. But it, it, I can't tap turn two and tap turn three because then I'll just uh, 
fatigue out a card or whatever, mill, mill a card. But Earthen Ring, I can tap on turn two, play Earthen Ring on three, Mount Giant on turn four. That's pretty good. I pretty much just thought coin tapping ever. Like, these situations might make some sense to coin tap. But coin's pretty good. I don't know if it makes sense to replace your coin with another card. Especially with Emperor now. Like, Emperor... If you coin on Emperor, then you get, like, your coin... A lot of coins back. Okay, so at least his hand is bad. I now have another option is to play the Watcher. I don't like that at all. Not against Druid. Against, like, a lot of class that will, like, Warrior and stuff. But uh, against Druid, this can kill Shredder. And Shredder can contest Giant very well. Like, Druid is really honest. It's like, if it gets Wrath, I don't care. That's, like, just him trading unfairly for it. There's nothing like Axe that will really, like, crush it. Okay, I <laughs> do get the Emperor. Probably get BGH'd. With how bad his opening is, if he doesn't have BJ, he's like screwed, I feel. I still feel I'm way ahead this game though, because now I don't have to worry about BJ probably, and uh, I'm still way ahead on board. Get the first Emperor out. If he plays like stuff in Temper, it feels so bad. I mean, like, I feel like he has to kill it instead of playing Ancient of War or whatever. But it's really inefficient for Drew to kill it. He doesn't have to, you can play Ancient War, but... Or, by Ancient War, I mean lore. <laughs> okay, I have the BGH now, it's like, payback. God, face is perfect here. If I had one extra man, I would have played Watcher before killing the Boombot. I must safeguard the That's a really weird way to do it. He has extra mana, okay, that makes sense. If I tap, this will cost four, and eh, I can't do anything else anyways. Let's see if I get something good. Alright, so combo is still far off from lethal. Not that far, but uh, 18 damage. And he's already used BGH and I have initiative here. It's looking really good for me. Alright. Ah, <sighs> okay. Good. Uh, no Moltens is, is a problem. Alright. So many possibilities. Yeah, what's up? Crow Fist. Basically because I can shaft him next turn um, to clear out everything with, with the giant. I feel like I shouldn't clear the rag here, but there's a chance I die, which is like if he hits face and does two damage, like with a swipe or a keeper, uh, he has some chances. But I feel like if I trade, I don't know. It's like seems like the chances are pretty low of dying. It's like it sets up a really high tension scenario for him, with a added risk for me of dying. So he can kill me 25% of the time here, which is actually pretty high. Okay, he just wants the one armor, one extra armor, I think, for this move. So that it's hard for me to kill him. Uh, for the most part, if he didn't kill me with that. He wasn't going to win even if he killed this giant, I mean, he killed my giant. It was a really nice calculation for the tap though, the extra one. 
Okay, Dr. Boom, Shadow Flame, the Boom Bot, that's a really low chance. Like, Rag is not very good at rushing down, like holding down a board when people are rushing you down. This is like not Rag's specialty. That's why I kind of left it up. He didn't have to look at a stream for that calculation. It's a pretty easy one because um, Warlock has so many ways to do 3 damage. In fact, it's probably do that. It's probably easier to calculate that not looking at the stream than looking at the stream. Most of the math there was like calculating about the rag, not like knowing that I had three damage in my hand. Maybe with how close to cut it, 25% is pretty bad for this situation. I thought I was in a much worse situation. Um, I don't know, maybe I could've just killed Trey with Rag instead of getting that damage forcing something. Watcher against Paladin. I know I love Watcher against Druid. Um, against Paladin. I know AoE is good, but I really don't like keeping Shadow Flame ever in any matchup. It's like a late game AoE. So the only thing I'm deciding is whether to keep Watcher now. The whole um, Sciencing Watcher with Owl isn't that good on turn 2 and 3. Owl's so weak to muster and 4-5 uh, is not good at killing 1-1s. One it's very really good with Sun Fury really I think. And since they have equality it might not be good to like, hide stuff behind Watcher too much. I would probably keep the Watcher anyways. And try to get a Sun Fury with it instead of Owl. I mean if I have Owl I'm still going to play it but... Well met. I'm done with Siphon Soul. Convinced that's not good. I replaced it with Faceless. Okay, <laughs> that's a good one for me. That's not turn 2 yet, it's turn 1 Yeti. With a coin. I'll probably go face with this Watcher. Oh, wow, that's some top deck and skills right there. Okay, so there's a couple reasons to trade. One reason is equality, but equality burn this already is not so good. It's not so bad either. And the second reason is that if he just simply keeps making dudes and going face as well, and then he has, he has threatening a core master. So, like, unless I'm starting to trade, I won't be able to remove them in time. Come to think of it, equality here doesn't even sound so bad for him either. This is like the Yeti. He can clear it. Maybe it's better to tap Watcher. Next turn to fight Belcher, but he can just clear, play Belcher. I'm not too sure, honestly. Put this apple on your head. Death does not scare me. Death log. And he didn't kill this. I think it's wrong. I think he should just uh went for this anyways. Oh, that's so good for me. I don't know, Death Lord's bad, right? Like, really bad card against Panlock. 2-8 doesn't fight very well against mid-range minions. It's, like, especially bad against Giants. But it's pretty bad against any, like, mid-range 5-5-ish minions as well. Uh, that was a really important uh, ping. He like kept his death forward alive pretty much, or his juggler. He could have killed his juggler, but... There's weird stuff that you can do, like make me mind control the death lord, like attack, attack, use a weapon, and make me steal it. That's probably worse for me. I'm gonna tap first. In case I got a call or something. Well, that's not good. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Reporting for 
for duty. I think in this game, I might be um just hoping that he doesn't have core master or have AOE. Like if if he has both, there's no way I can beat a core master and no AOE draw. I might just have to do something like tap and then play. Uh... Wait, I can't even tap and play Stellanus. I might just have to play Stellanus if I tap. Like I really want to tap this turn. If I just play Stellanus, yeah. So I died core master anyways. I need to start working my way down for Moltens and Tauners. Yeah, like either tap for Hellfire or just like set up with tension. And if he hits me down to like five, I can play double Molten Argus or something. I need to tap for Argus or some period as well, so. 